Hey designers, welcome to yet another YouTube video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lucas and I'm a graphic designer. Today we're going to be designing this Joker poster that you're seeing right now. It's pretty simple and I think it looks really cool. I'm going to have the Photoshop file in the description as well for you guys to follow along. Let's get to it and we're going to make a 18 by 24 like usual. Uh, if you haven't watched my previous YouTube videos, I always do 18 by 24 and then 72 resolution. The reason I'm doing 72 and not 300 is just because I'm not planning to print these posters. I'm just doing them for fun and it's going to be a lot less space usage on my computer compared to a 300 uh, resolution. And then also since I'm not printing, I'm just going to go with RGB. But you can also change this in the future when you're going to print if you need to print. And then once all that's set up, we're just going to create. My go-to when I create a file is always to go and create guides. And I always just go 6x8, but it also depends on the posters that I'm going to make. And for this one, we're actually going to go with 8x8. Eight eight. And then I'm going to obviously lock them just because I don't want to accidentally move them by accident. And then let's go back to the original poster. And I just want to know the color we're going to use. So I use this color here, which I believe I extracted from his mouth. And then I just played around with the different colors that were there and so we're just going to add a solid color and we're going to do the red and we're going to rename this to background and then since we have that background we can go ahead and remove the white one and let's lock the layer so i don't accidentally move it once the background is set the first thing that i do is typography and by that i mean all the type that's going to be in the poster uh, this is really good to start with that just because it allows you to play around with where the type is going to go and it gives you a sense of direction with your poster Okay, now that we have all the type here, uh, obviously I want to work with what's important, right? And so I know that Todd Phillips isn't that important. The Phoenix Gaga isn't that important. The title of the movie is the most important. That's why I'm just going to focus on that for now. And so that's where I design it here. And so we're just going to make Joker much larger. And I went with Folio bold condensed and then i went with 500 points for the size we can just play around with the type to figure out where to put it and let's just go with that obviously i also have this as white so we're going to change the color of joker to white and then fully i also did folio condensed and then i went with 100 and we're going to go with white and then we're just going to move it around here to where I think it looks good. Uh, now that we have the title sort of set up, we're going to go with Phoenix Gaga next. And so again, we're going to go with Folio, Bold Condensed. And this I actually went with 80 just to make it less important than the actual title, but still important per se. And again, we're going to switch it to white and convert it there. And we're just going to place it right here for now. And then we did the Todd Phillips film. So this one, usually on movie posters, it's at the top or it'll be integrated somewhere in the title or maybe on the bottom. But because I had a lot already on the bottom, which you'll see later when I add the imagery, I felt like the top was very empty. And so here we're going to do again folio. But we're going to do bold condensed and we're going to reduce it down to 40. And then we're going to do control H to open up the grid. And we're going to make sure that it's aligned from both sides that I want. Bring it all the way to the top, highlight it. And then we're going to do this option right here on paragraphs. If you don't have this right here, all you need to do is go to window and then go to properties and you'll have this window. And then you can see that it did a nice cool design on the top. Now that we have this set up, we're just going to add the imagery. So in my poster, I have two images. I have the one that goes on the top and then one that I put on the bottom. And so for now, we're just going to do the one on the bottom. And so we're going to hide this top one. So the best thing now is to reduce the opacity just so I can see where the image would go from behind. And then I'm going to enlarge the image just to see where I would like it to be another thing that i'm noticing right now is the spacing between the letters and so right now i have it set as 50 but i actually went with zero for this poster just so it's nice and tight and we also did the same for the other types Once you find the location that you want to have it in, you're just going to make sure that it's opacity 100 and then we're going to select the subjects out. And so we're just going to go select subject, 
and this will select the subject for us here. There's multiple ways to do this, but for now we're just going to go like this. And I also noticed there's two little parts here that got deleted for some reason. And that's very easy to fix. You just go to your mask layer and it over. You just need to make sure that it's white because if it's black, it's going to erase it as well. And the reason that's doing that is because everything that we want in this mask here is in white. So everything that we color white will bring it back. We're just going to quickly bring that in. For now, we're going to just lock this layer. We'll come back to it later. And then we're going to start on the next image. So for this image, again, we're going to select... And we're just going to move the background. And again, you can notice that it removed some things. So we're going to just quickly restore that. I also have this image all the way behind everything. So right now everything here is kind of crowded. And so we're just going to move it down a little bit. Around there looks pretty good. We're going to click Control H and make sure that everything is centered properly. This is good. Now that we brought it down, we can do what I did for this one. And so for this one, I did something a little bit different. And what you have to do is make sure that black and white is here and the black must be on top of the white. And you want to go to filter, filter gallery. And so we're just going to delete these for now. And then we're going to do a half tone pattern. And the settings that I did was dot with one and zero contrast. Then I added another layer and we're going to add grain for this one. And the settings I did for this one was 80 with 78. Obviously, when you guys are designing your poster, the settings aren't always going to be the same and you're going to have to play around with what looks good for you. So that's what I wanted. We did that. And then we're going to play with the opacity. So I went down and I just found something that worked for me. And then we're also going to switch the blend mode to darken. And then we're just going to enlarge it just to make it look nice where we want it. Something around that. And then you can also see if I was to remove the joker that there's a straight line here and I want to make it kind of blend. So again, we're going to go to the mask, go to the brush, and we're going to switch to a soft brush. And the reason I want soft brush is because I can make it disappear very smoothly. It's kind of like this, you see? And now when we add the joker back, it looks like it's very part of it. On top of that, I also added a noise layer. And so we're just going to go filter, noise, add noise, and we're going to go with something around five. It just adds a bit more texture to the image. So that image is essentially done. And we're going to call this background Joker, just so I know that this is the image that goes over here. The next step now is to add the quote on the bottom. And again, we went with folio, bold condensed. We're going to go with 30. The spacing between the text is going to be 34. We're going to flush it to the right and we're going to make it all lowercase. And then obviously we have to make sure that the spacing between each letter is zero. And now we're going to move it down to where we want it. Just like that. And then we're going to play around with what looks good to us. We pretty much are almost done the poster, but we have a few more steps to go. And so we just have to go back to the Joker. And so in my original one, I noticed that they had a blue hue and I felt like it would be a cool contrast to have it as black and white and so i just came here and i went to black and white and then we do a clipping mask to the actual layer and then we can play around with the settings here just to make it look cool i like it around there and then i also wanted to emphasize his face because if you were to remove the black and white you see that it has a lot of the color same with her lips and so what we're going to do is click on the mask of the black and white and again like we've done for the other stuff we're just going to paint it so you can see that if i use black it's going to recolor and so i'm just going to quickly switch to this and we're gonna quickly color in his mask although you can see that it's blue and so i didn't really want his mask i just wanted the details that have the coloring and so what we're going to do is just going to quickly color this in and then we're going to switch to white and we're going to color out everything that we don't actually want And there you, you can see that now it has still the colors, but it has also the black and white theme to the mask. So this is before and this is after. On top of that, I also wanted to have her lips here because you can see that they're sort of red. And so what I did for that, the same concept, we're just going to color it in. Uh, but for this one, I actually switched to the soft round brush just so that I can blend in much better than the other one. And we're just going to color in like this. 
and then you can play around with it and, s and try to blend it even even more and so the best way to do that is make this larger and just essentially blend like this perfect you can see that it got really nicely blended in and there you go the poster is essentially done and to make it e look even better we're just going to add some filters so the first one that i added was this and this is one this one is mainly for the text and so we're just going to bring it down to joker create a clipping mask and then you can see that's very dark and you can't really read much and so we're going to reduce this to darkened and then we're going to reduce the opacity to around 30 percent you can see that it's very subtle but it's really nice and you can also play around with where it goes find something that looks really cool to you and we're just going to go with that then we're going to space this down a bit and we're going to center it from his shoulder to the r end of the r perfect and then we're going to bring it down just a little bit kind of around there and then we're going to do the same with that and then i also added a grain filter on top and to do that you just go to layer new layer and then you go to overlay and you select this fill with overlay natural neutral color 50 percent gray and i just normally rename this to noise just so that i know what it is and then once the layer is made you go to filter noise add noise and you can play around with how much noise you want obviously you don't want to have a crazy amount we're just going to go with 10 percent now we're just going to do final touches so we're going to add some textures and we're just going to go with grunge and we're going to add a random one from here we're just going to move it around place it into place just like that and then we're going to play with the blend modes i also have an effect here on the original poster and that's actually very easy to do the first thing you're going to do is go to the layer that we're going to edit and so this one right here and you're going to do a selection and you're just going to do a selection of the thing that you want to stretch out just like this you're going to copy it and paste it and then you're just going to do Control t and you're going to stretch it down while holding shift just like that and you can see that it looks very weird that's because it's clipped to the image right now and so what you want to do is release clipping clip the black and white and then we're also going to make a black and white for the image on the bottom like that and then we're going to make a layer mask and we're going to do a gradient where it's black to transparent and we're just going to play around with how much gets seen like that and then obviously you're going to go with the brush make sure it's soft round and you're just going to play around with the edges here and so you're going to switch it to black and you're just going to make sure that it looks good. And that's essentially how you create this poster. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed how I designed this poster. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see more movie poster designs. I'd be honored to design with you guys and I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video.